Hi guys, it's Michelle and I am back today with um, Purity Headwear by Musume and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys one of the amazing pieces of headwear called Yana. Now this is a bit different other than doing a review and talking much about this, I'm actually not going to talk about this at all. I am literally going to show you, it comes like this, comes with a scarf, comes in different shades, different colours, however this is going to be how to tie your Yana. So there are various ways of doing this, so let's just get started. Okay, so method one, we have it looped. So the next method is really kind of simple, straightforward, really easy to do. Um, what I've actually done this time with the scarf that comes with the Yana, um, what I have done is half it over. I like it kind of opened up and full usually, but also you can do this, it's quite versatile. Okay, so that's done the whole way around. I will just show you the back. So what I've done, as you can see, pull the two tails here. This is really straightforward. This is just a case of literally tie and you can do it again and just have it absolutely, utterly plain and good to wear. Or if you wanted to, you can pop a little bow in it, which is more so what I would tend to go for. Obviously you can make it nice and tidy, have it just as is. So you can have it so it's just a little bow pull your tails accordingly. I like to have my tails different lengths. You can have them the same length obviously if you prefer. Whatever, it's up to yourself. Okay. Or if you want when you've pulled it around the side, you can twist and loop. Okay guys, so now it's time for some fun styling with Yana. Woohoo! So what I've done here, if you want to have a wee look, I have just tied it through the loop at the back and the two sides. Now, this might not be for everyone, however, what to do, if you wanted to do, some people like to have a wee kind of bow. Pick a side, any side, left or right. I'm going right, which will probably look left to you guys on camera. Bring it over. This is so easy. You literally are tying a bow the way you always would tie a bow. Nice, it's nice. Keep it trying, have it nice and tidy. Nice and tidy. It reminds me of my mum telling my telling me to tidy my bedroom or me telling my children. Okay, so you've got a bow, it's really messy. However, get it to size first and then we can tidy up. Now you can have this as big, wild and wacky as you like. Or you can have it just as a small decoration. Now what I'm doing with the scarf is I am putting the scarf back here and this wee loop here I am just popping that through if you can see and this here same again now I'm covering over this loop and going through and I am just going to give that a wee loose tie here and then again I'm happy leaving it like that. If you want to tuck in, you can. Now I'm going to fix my bows up. I think this is actually quite a pretty style. It's not too wacky. Don't get me wrong. I have been known to pop my Yana on and have a massive bow. But that's cool. You do whatever suits you. It's very personalised. This is such a versatile piece of headwear. I'd recommend to anyone. That was so easy, so straightforward. There you go, you're even covering over these wee loops here. I love this. I just think it's amazing. Look at that, it's, and it's obviously secure. It's 
So another really straightforward style is just bringing it around like this. If you want to have a wee twist here, twist over. And then bring back round. Now I'm not going to go through the loops, I'm going to go over them. Okay. Now as you can see that's got that wee twist there. Now you can tie that and have tails or you can tie it and tuck in. I'm going to tie it and have tails. Just tucked in is fine and beautiful as well. It's just really very much personal preference. So there you go. This is really simple, really straightforward really pretty and if you want for added decoration give me two seconds and I will come back one two and I'm back and look what I've got so you're probably wondering what is that this is a brooch just a plain old brooch that I bought specifically for headwear because I don't wear brooches now what I'm going to show you this is totally up to yourself if you want to buy a brooch and do this this style I think works perfectly for it if you like something a wee bit different then Honestly, the Yana is so versatile. Now, I'm popping this through the scarf here, okay? Now, be super careful if you're doing this. Get someone else to do it for you if you are worried. Do not poke yourself with a brooch. There we go. Now, I kind of like to be a bit wacky. I would, go, I would obviously have to straighten this up a wee bit because I've got it squint. So, for me, I would tuck that in though. I would tend to tuck in the tails if it's a lot of attention drawing. For me, I like that. It's totally different. But again, this is just absolutely personal. Some people, you might watch this and think, no, it's awful. You can use a small brooch just for decoration. However, this is just another idea for you. Hi guys, so next style, what we're going to do to start off is the scarf. I have right, I'm going, it's best if you keep it broad for this particular style. Totally up to yourself though, I have kept it broad. Now it's going through the side loop, the side loop it is not going through the back loop. What I'm going to do is just bring it to the side here and start to just twist this around. So the two tails together, just twist them doesn't have to not make a tight or anything like that but just have them twisted and then what we're going to do is bring this up so it's starting at start at the back here we're bringing it up and around is the plan and it'll go to this kind of level just under here and what we do is pop it underneath there just now and then what I would generally do is I, at this point, actually I would leave, sorry, one part in front and one part behind of my tails. That's why it's important you start off with your tails aligned, your tails actually matching up at the beginning because you need both to finish off the same sort of point. Now, just be careful with the, the kind of loop holder. So as you see, one stops in front, one's behind. Obviously the full thing is twisted. What I'm going to do is just loop it under here. I suppose you could use a bobble at this point if you wanted to. I'm not going to. So it's just a single thing I'm tying there. And what I'm doing is tucking it now in just underneath. Like so. Now, I just tend to sit that over the middle if I go for this kind of style. And that here, you can organise this. Have it nice and tidy. Have it nice and straight how you want to do it. Fix your wee scarf. Now, if you wanted to use a Kirby grip, bobby pin type idea, you can do that to pin onto this loop to hold it more secure. If you want to do that. I'm saying that, now I can't do it. <laughs> I don't normally, actually, what I would normally do is I just tend to tuck it under um, or leave it kind of down. So, it's up to yourself. You can tuck it under and back in on itself where you have done your single tie and that's you kind of got this look. So just coming around from the back up and over. So yeah, so what you can also do, 
let me show you and also do now this is maybe not a great example in that this is colored and patterned this is just a little brooch you can use a brooch to hold down you could use a safety pin if you wanted to I'd rather use brooch because it's fancy if you're doing this watch don't jag yourself I kind of do like to add brooches to a lot of headscarves turbans headwear type and I particularly just love the purity headwear range and I like that it doesn't come with a brooch type idea sewn on because this is obviously versatile now that specific brooch might not match this exact pattern of hat um, however obviously you could use a plain diamante you could use whatever I kind of like to have that I like to have things a wee bit different anyway so this is just another look that you can do if it's something that you like so another option so on to the next hi guys so like the kind of twisted version we had done over the band um, another version of that if you want it all just twisted I have the scarf off and out now I'm going to just hold that there put put three fingers in then underneath I'm going to start twisting from here now you're probably wondering what I'm doing so I'm just going to twist this the whole way just loosely nothing major doesn't need to be super tight in fact it's best it's not too tight but the whole thing you want to be twisted now why are we doing this what we are going to do is pop that through here and pop it through that you have your look at that and what we're going to do this is just if you wanted to have that kind of loop and um, that kind of twisty look but you don't want the big band underneath like the way I had done it earlier so you can do this now that where you put your fingers pull that pull the ropey bit through that wee loop that you've already created and then you can even twist it through rather than tying knots I tend to just do a lot of twists for security and pull now that ain't going to fall off you can have your retails loose or you can tuck them back if you want to okay okay now another option for you if you like you can tuck up the front of this cap if you so desire I don't tend to do that but you can you can pull it down so that it's at the level you like totally up to your wee gorgeous self so there is another look for you guys and I hope that's okay now that tucks up the whole way around and obviously if you're tucking tails in as well then you, if you pull that up then it's something else to hide those so another look for you guys hope that's okay okay and obviously like with this as well it's totally up to you do what you want to do yourself now these parts here are obviously here for the scarf to loop through for security to hold it um, and make sure there's no slippage doesn't end up over your face now I have different style. I've got all the styles of Yana actually. I just absolutely love it. However, like with this style particularly, um, this um, the grey diamond and like with different ones, have a look and see. This is your such soft, silky cotton type feel material, and this is I don't know. It's different anyway. The two materials are different, so. It, it's not going to slide too much another option for you if you want um, if you don't want to see these and you just want it totally plain another option obviously is just wrap it round like that there is nothing wrong with doing that now what you can do if you want is loop it through this back hole for a wee bit of security or you can just kind of like tie it if you want to either in a wee knot in a bow or in a kind of combo whatever you want to do it will stay secure it's not going to slip and move around it's just another option for you I would tuck that wee back edge in there so that just covers over these kind of side loops if that's something that you want to do I don't tend to do this however it is another option for yourself and it's all about you and what you want to do how you want to look what makes you feel better and just another suggestion from me I don't do it because I'm too lazy to be faffing around and make sure it's equal for the whole two seconds that took that is how lazy I am anyway another style for you
All right guys, so what I'm doing is I'm popping this bobble in here just now. So as you'll see, it is tied through the back and through the side. And that doesn't need to be tight, it's just there for a bit of security to hold that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is wrap and swirl. Wrap and swirl. That is all we are doing. So one tail has ended there, other one is just coming through now. Now I'm tucking this through, all the stuff I've looped. And we will do it again over this side. What you can do, you can tuck it right through the bobble that's there, if you like. And I'm crossing these over and tucking back through again. So it's just so much security. Now you have a kind of side bun type look, I suppose you could call it. A bun, a scarf bun with your hat. I quite like this, it's just, it's kind of off your collar, it's a kind of up style hat style, you don't have tails hanging down over your clothes, however what you do have is just something a wee bit extra so it's not all totally flat, because I know that sometimes we don't always like to be flat, so here's another option for you guys, so hope this one's okay, and moving on to the next one. Hi guys, so last but not least with Yana, this is possibly my very very favourite like ever style cause this is one that I do all the time most of the time I used to do similar things with head scarves now it's totally up to yourself if this is something you fancy or it might be a wee bit too much for a lot of people it might not be your kind of thing so what I'm going to do this side that side is through the back is through I'm just going to bring this up loose as is cover that one over there Again, up to yourself if you want to use the loops that are there, if you want to cover them over. So obviously up to yourself, it is a very versatile thing. What I always do, I like to make sure that I do always leave a good bit of grey at the start. Now, what I'm doing here is using my bobble, hair bobble, hair bobble. I own hair bobbles and I have no hair. But that's cool because they're for my fancy headwear. So guys, let's see really straightforward again we're not doing it tight this is pretty much the same sort of thing as we've done down here already however this is my super duper most favorite in the world ever so i'm wrapping that one round first of all and then i'm actually just going to tuck that underneath my headband here my headband you know what i mean the scarf and then what i'm going to do is bring that over and round Just keep bringing it round, round, round. Now what I do here is I tuck that just underneath the kind of scarf part here and it stays super secure. So it's not exactly the same as what we had down here. This is a lot bigger. So, and it's a bit flatter. Still super secure. It's not going to fall off. This is a style that I would say is maybe my favourite um, because I feel it is a bit different. Um, you get to see, you know, obviously the cap, it's lovely, it's fitted, material's phenomenal. Um, all of the things, the thing about the Yana is it's so versatile to allow you to absolutely do your own thing. This is the sort of thing that I like. I like to be different. I like things to be that bit different. A lot of people I know that a lot, you'll probably see this and think, oh my goodness, why are you doing that? No, for me though, I like this. I think it's good. I think it's different. So guys, that's me finished for today. I'm sure I'll probably have some more um, ideas or my take on the Yana. And if I do, then I by all means will come back and show you guys. So thank you for watching and let me know what you do with your Yana. Bye guys.